What's the Lower Mainland like in January? Well, it begins with New Year's fireworks in Vancouver, near Canada Place. The next morning, there are polar bear swims in communities like White Rock, where crazy folks swim in the ocean. The most famous polar bear event is at Vancouver's English Bay, but there's also one at North Vancouver's Deep Cove, which features a bonfire and live music. There are other swims too, like in the Fraser River at Fort Langley and the Port Moody Penguin Plunge. In early January, there are Christmas attractions still to enjoy, like Capilano Suspension Bridge's Canyon Lights and Bright Nights at Stanley Park. There are Christmas lights at Van Dusen Garden, holiday illuminations in Coquitlam, and Heritage Christmas at Burnaby Village. Starting mid-month, the Push Festival takes place at the Vogue Theatre and Queen Elizabeth Theatre downtown, and other venues like Performance Works on Granville Island. Around the same time, the Dine Out Vancouver Festival features delicious and affordably priced three-course menus. Participants most years include popular chain restaurants, restaurants at parks, restaurants at fancy hotels, and trendy West Coast places. The festival also features restaurants on the water in different parts of town, restaurants with views, and restaurants on the North Shore Mountains. Speaking of mountains, January is a prime time for skiing and other snow sports at local hills. Boaters love January because of the Vancouver International Boat Show at Granville Island and BC Place Stadium. The month is also a time for spectator sports, like hockey at Rogers Arena. And finally, January is a month for winter farmers markets and early evening sunsets. For more information about things to do in January, check out vancouversbestplaces.com.